So we're in the middle of this run still. <laughs> we still have quite a bit to go, I'd say. I did farm blood arrows, or at least blood rose for, for a bit on uh, uh, yesterday. On yesterday. Is that how you speak? But yeah, I got, a, I got like 200, uh, I think, roughly, 200 blood rows. I can't remember if you can poison this guy or not. You can. Finish the last mission in the season. Was it like a mission they had for one week or something? Is that out, what, in a week? Is that a week from now or is that like sooner than that? The new expansion. There's just so many things coming. Like, there's so many things that have come out. There's still so many things that are coming out. This month in March, it's insane. 28th, okay. Atomic Heart reviews are out. I was looking at it a little bit before I started this morning. It's, uh... I don't know, it seems like it's not, like, a, you know, incredible or anything. Like, the, all the reviews are, like, kind of mid. But I really want to hear the soundtrack. <laughs> That's like what I'm looking forward to the most from that game, honestly. Because I loved Doom, Doom soundtrack that Nick Gordon did. And he worked on Atomic Heart. But it's like with Game Reviews, man, who really knows? You really, like, that's the thing, you can't really judge a game until you play it yourself. The problem is the reviews are, you know, a lot of times the determining factor for someone wanting to buy a game. Should probably try to poison him again. But yeah, I'm going to be busy with Ishin anyway, so... Yeah, that's the other thing. A lot of people are like, yeah, thank God it's on Game Pass. I can play without, like, actually paying for it. Oops. But yeah, I'll probably I'll probably stream Ishin tomorrow and you know kind of the same way it did God of War already like two hours um, every day like the end of the stream and then mm, probably Saturday streams. I don't know if I'll do every Saturday, but I'll try to do some Saturdays because it's a it's gonna be a very long game. Those games are always insanely long.
running out of regular arrows. Run, dude. My god. So slow. Stamina regen. That actually hit me? It must have been just like the terrain. Oof, what a long fight. Yeah, so we still have like quite a bit to go in this run. Gotta finish Altus, which, you know, we still have like probably 15 or more bosses here that way. We still gotta do the entire mountaintops in the snowfield. Like, we haven't even been underground yet. There's still so much to do in this run. So we'll probably finish tomorrow and then start Dark Souls 1. Do this stone... I think it's the Stone Great Axe, that's what it's called? Yeah, Stone Great Axe. Which I'm gonna just set up to farm and then I'm gonna farm that probably on Wednesday. Or Tuesday. Got to farm some guns in Destiny. Yeah, you got, uh, you got a week. Now we're leaving. Oh. The sun setting. Weapons. Whatever they call it. 99. Let me do regular arrows here. I think regular are better than fire. For some reason. Naked worm face. It's so weird. It's so, like, wrinkled. You can poison these things or not. I feel like you probably can't. I don't think you can poison our tree avatars. I don't know why you'd be able to poison these guys. Uh, okay. That's weird. Poisoned? Oh, he's poisoned. Sick. It's supposed to end in the new expansion. Interesting. How much longer are they going to be keep doing Destiny 2 for them? I gotta wonder. Because I thought the whole point of sunsetting was to not bloat the game. It didn't even hit me. It was close, but it didn't hit me. I saw where it landed. I mean, Destiny 2 is like one of those games, you know, that you could... I feel like theoretically keep going forever, like, you know, Diablo or something. As long as it's making money, I guess, you know? Wait, Sony owns them now? I can't, I couldn't, I can't keep up with all the acquisitions. I don't know who owns who. Well, I know Activision's owned by Microsoft. That's all I didn't remember. Guess I forgot about Sony and Bungie though.
Not yet. Not yet to what? That's done. I guess like that. Oh, it's going to court. Oh, I didn't know that. We didn't do Sage's Cave, right? I don't think we did. Not yet. Sony in the UK trying to block it. Uh, I mean, it makes sense that they would try. <clears throat> it's like with the money they have, they can probably just keep that going forever, too, you know? Yeah, that's how the law works a lot of the time. It's like, as long as you can afford the lawyers, you can keep things tied up in court forever. All right, Bellberry Hunter. Shouldn't be too bad that we fought like three of these dudes. I do have to go get uh, probably bones to make. Actually, you know what? Hey, can I make arrows here? It's a lot of arrows. Make sure I'm not making bolts. Okay. Is someone a customer? I'm hoping we can at least get to the snowfield today, because I want to be able to farm uh, stuff for frozen arrows too, that'd be nice. Ice poison already. Whoops! We can block the arrows, I did not know. It's kind of weird that he just has a shield on his back that he doesn't really use except for like two attacks. He doesn't block with it or anything. You don't have to go through the motions to buy it again. Get it by the summer. Interesting.
And he bleeds? There we go. Are we doing holy arrows? Do we have any? 60, I'm gonna buy more. Golden great no golden arrow, not golden great arrow. Let me get I don't want that many. I want like maybe a hundred? Uh, no two hundred. I still gotta do two mimic tiers, that's gonna be fun. Oh, so I, I this weekend I tried to test the a mimic tier run I had talked about, where every enemy is a mimic tier. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to work. It's having issues with it. The first issue is that half the time the mimic tiers just kind of disappear. Like, you can get, like, a, a handful or so to spawn, and then, like, the rest of them, you see the silver tier, and then the mimic tier just, like, doesn't appear. So, you, like, it just disappears. It's, it's kind of strange. The other issue is I can't rest at any graces because my game just crashes, so that's kind of like the main problem. Because I can get around them not spawning. Just saving and quitting. Like, even bosses just wouldn't spawn. Which was a bummer. But I thought that would have been a fun run. Just like a... a kind of like a use what you see randomizer. Not quite, but... It would have been like a modified version of it. And you gotta find all the great runes in the world medallion. Somewhere in the world. I think Microsoft wants something else. I mean, there's a lot of games. It's like, do they just want a Monopoly, I think. That's what everyone wants. Except for consumers. Like, really awkward. Dude, stop. I cannot fight this guy with the camera. Like, it's so hard fighting him locked on. You kind of need to with the bow. Can we kill this guy, maybe? Get him. Fine, I'll get him. Fighting nice guns is always just so obnoxious when you're locked on. Probably, I, it's probably the most annoying boss to fight locked on, honestly, in this game. In my opinion. At least that I can think of. Because, like, when you're up close to them, they just fly all around and your camera's just, you know, 
looking everywhere. It's a bit much. Can't remember if you can poison him. Oh, never mind, he's already poisoned. Sick. Come on. Stop it. Actually extends out further than I thought it would. I love getting staggers with this thing because it's just so random. Like, I never expect them, and it's just, like, always so surprising. Oof, that's a lot of bleed arrows there. All right, um, can't think what's next. The Grave Warden Duelist. Just reached DTS, I know. It's, it's been a, it's been a slog. How you doing, Ani? It has been a slog. We're getting there. Should be able to finish tomorrow, I think. I, we're not finishing today. There's, there's no chance of that. Too much stuff left. But yeah, I mean, like, all bow runs are going to be pretty slow. Their damage is just not good. Uh, you know what? We're going to level up, actually. I think I might level up and then go buy some beast bones. Creeping our way to 60 decks. Really exhausted. You should go more often to the gym. Did you come back from the gym? Is that way you're tired? Oh, this guy. I always forget that this guy exists. I get it, man. You can stop any day. Oh, he's poisoned. Is he poisoned? Yeah, he's poisoned.
I'm doing all right. Can't really complain. I can't move. Under 14, that's it? That's all I get for that dude? Under 14 runes, huh? Gym for six people or those who've recovered? Oh, okay. And like rehab or something? Hey, what the hell? Oh, is there... Am I... Wait, what? Oh, I hit the limit. That's why I couldn't make more. I was wondering why, like... Okay. I thought I ran out of bones or something, but turns out I just hit the limit for bleed arrows. Alright, whatever. Back here. I hope it won't. Well, I'll have to craft them. I won't have to farm, at least. I'm going through, like, a hundred of these an hour. Or maybe, probably more than that, to be honest. But I have enough blood rows. I farmed enough yesterday that I have, like, 2k, or probably less now, but... No, stop. Stop, please. I need to... I hate this. I hate everything about this room. I can't take this chest because I got two imps here who are going to kill me if I take it. This is just like such a awful... Really, the, the fact that you can't get iframes on the, on the teleport is just such an awful mechanic. Can you die? Can you die? Please? Yeah, no iframes on chests is kind of weird. I don't... Because you get them on doors. I don't know why they just decided to not do them for chests. But it's mainly, like, the fact that when you're teleporting, you don't get iframes. Like, I, I'm just stuck. I can't move and I can still get hit. It's so dumb. Yeah, the, uh, the last two runs I did would have been done, like, an hour ago. <laughs> That's how slow this run is. We're about 93 bosses. Or more now, we were 93 bosses to start the day, though. In... I thought that that's part of the trap. Maybe. I wish it would at least teleport you after you died, you know? I could live with it then, but you gotta go back to the chest if you die.
The runes would be before the teleport. True. Crucible Knight Duo. This one... I don't think it'll be too bad, but it's probably going to take a bit. A lot of health to get through. Like, I can just see the Forbidden Lands right there. And they're, like... Like, completely clearly. There's no fog or anything there. It really doesn't even look that big, does it? World is somewhere in there. Like it's so it's actually pretty cool. Oh, hello bear. Then you get over there and it's like the longest path in history. Perspective, yeah, and it's probably that's probably not like how it actually looks. It's kind of like a like a false view of that uh, location from here. They do that a lot. All right, I cannot remember if these guys poison or bleed. We're gonna try both though. I fought like what two crucible knights, or at least one. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can get, like, maybe, like, within two hours of the end, and then we can just finish this tomorrow. We'll start the DS1 run tomorrow. And I'll get to a point where I can farm the Stone Great Axe, which probably means I'm going to try and not quite rush the DLC, but I'm going to try and get there early. Really, I just got to get through Sanctuary Guardian. And then I want to do Ishin after that for a couple hours. It's probably, like, probably long streams, at least, until Ishin is complete. Ow. Yeah, showing areas in these games are one of the nicest things about it, honestly. For me, anyway. Just being able to see, like, the entire world, or, like, at least, you know, other parts of the world that you haven't been to, but you can go to. Other request? Yep. A couple days ago, we got the Dark Soul, Dark Soul Stone Great Axe, which apparently is the one of the DLC weapons. I did not know that until like the day after I got the request, because I had to look it up. So we have to go to the DLC in new game. I don't know if they can get poisoned. Or bleed, to be honest. Oh, they can. That's what I thought too, Ani. And then it apparently is the weapon for the DLC Guardians. Or those from Guardians. I don't know if they have armor either. I think there actually is. So I'll wear that too, and it's going to be just like another fat gold run, I guess. They cannot bleed? Okay. Take those off then. I was going to say, phase two should be any second. Yeah, if you can keep your distance from these guys, like it's, it's pretty easy fight, I feel. Until you get the Extendo Spear. I 
I don't know why, it just looks like the camera, or not the camera, it's the, I guess it's the way the camera, like, pans or whatever. It looks like this spear honestly just extends. Almost there. Oh, I thought he could jump up. Do something. Anything you can do. Whatever you want. Okay, don't do that. Though. He's poisoned. Yeah, it's incredibly safe. It just is, like, the reason it does no damage is because of how safe it is, probably, you know? The only thing it really is, like, rough with is Radagon. That's, like, pretty much it. Anything with a lot of health, I guess, but especially Radagon. And I guess Elven Beast, too, just because by the time you get through with Radagon, you're, like, so drained emotionally. At least I am. Because honestly, I don't think anything else is really that bad. I guess NPCs, if they input read, but like they're not, you know, a 20 minute fight. Really, if you don't have bleed arrows or, like, any status effects, there would be a lot of pretty bad fights. Like, Melania would probably take a while. If you couldn't bleed her. Your freezer, right card, same thing. I wouldn't say they're hard, necessarily. They definitely take a long time. I know Melania's infant reading would be annoying, but you know the parries that Radagon can do with the arrows is why it makes why that fight is so bad. Because it forces you to have to really pick your shots. You can't just spam arrows at any opening. Yeah, you can't hit it there. Now let's see, Sage's Cave? Got, uh, speaking of NPCs, we got Garrus. 
It would have been cool, but unfortunately they get iframes in the air. At least that one does. I don't know if the other one does, but I'm, I'm guessing both of them do. I think the bow runs are the reason I started using sentry torches in this fight. Because I think of the Godskin Peeler and the Celebrant Sickle, I didn't, and then I used the Black Bow, and I'm like, oh, well, this is going to suck, but I don't have this, so we're just going to get it. Apparently there's an Elden Ring Twitch Rivals tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. It's like, or it's probably like two or three days actually. For, uh, I don't know if it's like just for the anniversary or just because. It's probably, it's probably for the anniversary considering how close it is to the anniversary. Oh, I love fighting NPCs with a bow. It's so much fun. As a rivals event, so basically how it works, I, I think it's the same. It should be the same as it was like last time, which was you have I don't know how long it is, but you have like a certain amount of time to create a build to use in PvP. I think so. So it, the way they did it last time is like there's one like person who acted as the mentor. And they were like, you know, they're supposed to teach a protege. So you had two people per group, like how to PVP or something. And you had to get them a build set up and like an hour and a half or whatever it was. Can't remember. And basically it's just like a competition for, for money. It's pretty much the same this time, except you have two proteges and one mentor. So it's, you know, teams of three. There's like 16 teams, I think it is. But I think that most of the people who are doing it, most of the mentors, like, don't PvP. Which is the interesting thing. Yeah, I probably won't watch it either. I'm probably, probably going to be streaming while it's on. There's also an event, I think it's the 25th for uh, the one year anniversary for Elden Ring. I don't know what that's supposed to be about. I think I think it's the 25th. I don't know, it's sometime this week. I don't think so, because the thing with Rivers of Blood is it's so far into the game that most people probably aren't gonna be able to get it. That's why it's kind of interesting. Because you only have an hour and a half or two hours or whatever to actually get your weapon.
But I was watching someone else, and they were talking about how the rules for the Twitch Rivals is, like, so... Like, they're, they're very vague in what they allow. So they were talking about how, like, people could just have people in their communities just drop a bunch of gear for them instead of actually having to go get it themselves, because there's no rule that doesn't allow that. So it's going to be interesting. I think, it, like, if, it, if there was no money involved, that would be okay, but... When money's involved and you have big streamers involved, there's just going to be a lot of chaos, I think. Especially if something controversial happens. I don't think Moonvale's off limits. Like I said, if you can get it in half an hour or an hour and a half, whatever it is, two hours, then it's fair game. It's just, you know, are the uh, people who don't play Elden Ring going to really be able to do that? Who knows? I don't think you can poison the assassins. But I think last time everyone used Reduvia, pretty much. Yeah, that was one of the popular ones, because it's so early. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. Like, that's... it. The rule set just sounds, like, silly. At least according to... One streamer. Who does a lot of PvP. See, Siege's Cave is done. We gotta go to Lance Sayax. Yeah, it completely defeats the purpose of it. And again, it's for money. Like, if it wasn't for money, then whatever, you know? But the winner probably it might be like the top three teams or something get money. I think they already get paid to be in rivals, but you get like bonus money. So, I don't know. I mean, it's the same thing last time, I think. Just more people involved now. Or money, yeah. I can't can't say for that. I don't know, but maybe. But honestly, I don't think Twitch cares. I think they just want, you know, high viewership for it. Dude, I hate this jump. Come on. This fight should be significantly easier. Too many can hit Blood Texas face anyway. That's gonna hit me. Oh my god, it didn't hit me. Well it hit Torrent. Which would have been me. Dude, the Rams really Blood Tex, would help out here? Thanks.
Dude, honestly, the sheep are the scariest part about this fight. You joke. You don't know if they're going to attack you or be friendly. They'll do whatever they want. I think one of the annoying things about Lance Axe and Vortis Axe for me is that the head is such a big weak spot for these dragons, but you can barely ever hit it. And you can hit more easily with bows anyway, but... It's so annoying to try and melee their head. Dying to win once while fighting a death bird. I can believe that. Oh, Torrent's almost dead. I've seen it happen. Not to me, but I can remember anyway, but I've definitely, uh... I've seen people die to him. Usually, I feel like they just finish you off after you already, like, missing it to the hell. Alright, assassin. Do fire arrows, because I have a ton of these things. Let's do not poison, also. We'll do, we'll do golden arrows, because I have nothing else really to use them on besides death rate birds now. Then I won't see one of those for a bit. I can't wait to fight Electo. That fight is going to be miserable. It's going to be such a long fight. Yeah, I mean, well, that's kind of the point of Madeir, though, right? Like, you you do no damage to any other part of Madeir except for his face. At least you can damage these other dragons, like, by not hitting their face. It's just their face is a weak spot, and you can never hit it. At least for Fortis Axe and Lance Axe. The other dragons, you can hit their face a lot. Because, like, if you try to just do Madeir, like, by hitting his feet or whatever, it's going to take you twice as long. Unless you have, like, bleed or something. Even if, I, I don't even know if you can bleed him or frost or whatever. From status effect. If he can even be damaged by that stuff. Yeah, I imagine he does different moves, too, which I probably have never seen, because I always go for the hunt.
Okay, please stop input reading. I love how every other shot is a headshot, because the way the way the assassin stagger she like puts her head down. So if you get two uh, barrages, the second one's always a headshot. It's kind of funny. Yeah, the fire breath too. He just lights himself on fire. Locking on the Madeir's head is usually painful. Yeah. That's why like, I think a lot of people don't like Madeir until they know how to fight him. Because I wouldn't say it's obvious you're supposed to hit the head. Once you actually look at like the damage numbers. And then it kind of becomes obvious, but you know. Before that point, it's not really that clear like I've seen so many people do the fight for the first time and they just don't don't get it you know and it's not like it's explained to you don't do it so let me swap my arrows in peace I think it's the most fair dragon fight, but Placidus Axe is still my favorite. I think it just looks the coolest. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done the lead arrows yet. guys. I don't think they can bleed. There's three or four of them, I can't even tell. Yeah, Fortis X is pretty sick. The music, too, is really good. I'm so dead. Yeah, I was gonna get. I knew I was gonna get roll cut. Those things just hold it forever. Oh, this part sucks, man. Cause I have to, I have to bring the Grave Warden to list here, so like I gotta fight. I don't want to fight everything here, you know. I hate this dungeon so much. Yeah, let's not do bleed arrows here. I don't know when would be the best though. Yeah, the imps are terrible. I'm just gonna kill every one of them. I don't know if any of them chased me down there. But they're all dying now. 
Except for this one. Into the light. He knows. He knows. As soon as he steps in the light, he's dead. Really? Let me drop. Ooh, impact. Yo, what was that shot? Oh, I don't think that was me. I think that was one of them threw something. Freedom. Too paranoid I'm gonna get hit by these guillotines. Oh, it's so scary. Like, you can... If you have the timing right, you can run through them, but still, they chunk you so badly if you get hit by them. They'll do like 70% of my health probably in one hit. No, luckily they're not an insta-kill, but they do a ton of damage. A lot easier to run through going coming this way instead of going forward. All right, don't randomly stop. And why? Come on. This is the most frustrating thing. I swear to God. This guy has more health than the boss, probably. Yeah, they just never bothered to, like, fix it or anything. Oh, he staggered, too. So, like, if you wait for this to go down, you should be good to so just run through. I think. Except for that. It's too late. That's why, like, I wonder if they changed the distance between the guillotines and the second set of these, because I feel like I always get hit by one.
Ooh. Snagging him out of that attack. Don't know if you can... Okay, you can poison them. Good. Can't go to you right now. I feel like you can't believe these guys. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. I feel like fire should be good here. Probably isn't, though. Do more than that. Christoph. 